Uh, my name is Elena Manferdini. I am an architect and an artist. I practice in Los Angeles and I'm also the graduate chair of SIAG, which is a school of architecture in downtown Los Angeles. My practice is a small practice in Venice um, and we are now um, six people um, during the summer. Um, we have been working mainly on public art projects uh, in facade of buildings and we have a few ground up projects in Los Angeles. Um, I think the practice is in between art and architecture that has been as the field um, of experimentation where I uh, and all the people working in my office have been focusing on to. The idea behind it is that architecture has a big role um, in everybody's life, probably is the background to any kind of human interaction. Maybe 90% of human interaction have as a background architecture, and I think usually that architecture um, is um, monotonous or banal. And I think um, in order to create new kind of uh, social spaces, public spaces, and political interaction among people, I think uh, architecture plays uh, a great role in that um, of creating much more imaginative spaces for human beings to be in. Um, slowly it became obvious to me that color was actually a thing to be explored in architecture if it's something that in the field of art and fine art is um, a given that the chromatics capability of a painting is a phenomenal uh, uh, set of tricks and facts that painters know how to deploy towards the audience. In architecture, it seems that usually the, um, the volumetric quality are the ones that are the plastic plasticity, let's say, of facades is the one that usually um, architects work with, whereas colors was a bit more of a safer um, uh, playground. Uh, and um, I thought it was a true opportunity to actually expand the possibility of architecture, the one of doing color in a big way. I think architects have this um, du duty of um, think about what if. Um, and the what if I think is, is important because we tend to uh, rely on what there is out there and think that what is out there is the only possibility. And we don't even allow ourselves to think that something different could be possible and therefore we never experience that something different. So architects have this ability to uh, somehow put together a dream of what if the city would be this way? What if this building would be this way? And the audience experiences the what if and, and therefore their imagination is trained 